there is something to be said for this time of the year. The leaves are falling, it's getting a little cooler out, and the veil between the worlds actually begins to get thinner, allowing spirits to easily move between one world and the next. Of course, I'm talking about the Halloween season. And when people think about the Halloween season, the first thing that comes to mind is cemeteries. Now, we are here today in the Lancaster Rural Memorial Park. Now, what I'm doing here today is similar to what I did earlier. It's part of my Halloween experiment. Now, I did some research and I couldn't come up with anything that would say there's any haunts or anything like that, it, you know, connected with this particular cemetery. However, it doesn't necessarily mean there isn't anything going on here. I'm a firm believer myself that all spirits have at least one or two spirits, you know, whether it's a wandering spirit visiting its stone or loved, other loved one's stones or a cemetery guardian. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just have the cameras rolling in the cemetery. I'm going to go through, take some pictures and see if I'm right and see if I can come up with anything. Because that's one of the things I do. I tend to go off the beaten path a bit and sometimes find haunts that no one really knew were there. I'm kind of known for that. So. If we don't find anything, then you're going to be enjoying a video of a very, very historic, wonderful cemetery and some pictures as well. It's really nice to be here. It's nice and cool out. So why don't you just come along with me on this journey and we'll see if we can catch anything. And if we're not, we're going to have some really, really nice cemetery video. EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. It's what you get when you get a disembodied voice on an audio recording device. Now, when I was at the cemetery, I actually got two EVPs. Now, the first one actually sounds like what's a conversation of some type going on in the background. Now, mind you, I was alone at the time of the investigation. So go ahead and see if you can pick up what I caught. Now, this next EVP is nothing short of incredible. It's probably one of the best Class A EVPs I ever got. And what's even better, I back it up with a VVP because I was going with the video camera and the voice recorder at the same time as I was moving through the cemetery going from location to location. Now, at a certain point, I actually stumble onto a tombstone. And being respectful as I am, I actually said sorry. Now, what you'll hear is a female voice that actually repeats it and says, sorry. Check this out. Sorry. 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 Hey, 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 hey.
Now, this particular monument here is not only one of the most unique monuments in this cemetery, it is actually one of the more unique monuments I've ever seen. Um, monument, memorial, whatever the case is, it definitely seems like it was homespun, so to speak. It looks like it's just an earthen mound that was actually set up with some bricks and some actual rocks. Whether this is actually an above ground tomb and the, um, the uh, bodies are actually right beyond this metal door that seems to be welded shut right in front of it. Now, it's a memorial to the daughters of Edward and Phila Bagley. Um, now, the daughters are Eliza, Maria, and Lavina, and it does not look like they actually live to what you would actually consider a right old age. Um, Eliza passed away in 1820 and passed away in 1839. Maria was born in 1825 and passed away in 1839. Lavina was born in 1824 and passed away in 1842. I really don't know what happened um, and why they passed away and why the years of 1839 in particular was a really bad one for the um, Bayview family, not too long after that, just a few years, 1842. Um, it could have been disease, it could have been a terrible accident, it's hard to say. Uh, but the time frame kind of, kind of lends me to believe it might have been a disease. And um, this here was painstakingly done um, by the Bagley family, but I don't know for sure if their girls are above the ground. They would have been um, younger girls, of course, so they might very well be above the ground right behind this particular vault, or they might be under the ground a little bit. But it's a very, very loving homage to the daughters of this family. It's very sad, but it's also a remarkable piece of funerary art in its simplicity. Now, we're going to take a little stroll around it to give you a good idea of the dimensions of this particular monument here. As you can see, like I said, it's an earthen mound. Let me just see if I can get back here a little bit to give you a scope of this, which is what leads me to believe that um, the bodies are probably not under the ground. Bodies are probably like right inside that mound of dirt. Why they weren't put in the ground actually, I don't know. It could be that they just couldn't see their daughters under the ground and actually put them above ground. As you can see, I don't know if the camera's giving you, there we go, the camera's giving you the proper scope of this whole thing or not. But it's actually an above ground mound, a, a primitive mausoleum, uh, so to speak, is the best way I would describe it. It's truly fascinating. And the first time I came to this cemetery, uh, way back when, it was one of the things that certainly stood out a lot. It still does. But I guess what I can refer to this is as the, the Bagley Monument, to testament to his daughters and a family's love for them. And the fact that they probably couldn't see them being put underground. Now, VVP is video voice phenomenon. It's the exact same thing as EVP, except this is recorded on a video camera. Now, a lot of times when you're doing an investigation, you have static cams going especially in old houses and things like that, you hear footprints that certainly should not be there. Now, I get this, but seeing that it was autumn and there was leaves on the ground, you get what sounds like someone walking on the leaves. You can hear the crunch of the leaves. Now, again, there was no one anywhere near me. And in the beginning of the whole thing, you'll actually see a pile of leaves actually kick up. Now, I know there was wind, and that could explain most of the other leaves blowing around, but this actually happens like a short burst. And it coincides with the footsteps. Let's go ahead and check this out.
Now, this next piece of footage is absolutely incredible, and it goes hand in hand, like I explained earlier, with the EVP that I caught. Once again, I was walking with the video camera and the voice recorder, and I stumble upon a really low tombstone. Now, being respectful, I said, sorry. And a female voice repeats, sorry. Now, I'm showing this entire footage in its entirety because it'll illustrate that there was absolutely no one anywhere near me at the time of the recording. Now, I was certainly all by myself. This is, called, this is a Class A VVP, and it's probably one of the most compelling pieces of evidence I've ever caught. Check it out. Okay, once again, moving forward to a whole new location with what's left of this camera's battery. Anybody out here decided that they want to make themselves known? Sorry. Okay, the Lancaster Rural Memorial Park. This whole thing started out basically as a Halloween experiment to see if I was right about the veil being so thin between the worlds that I would be able to catch more paranormal activity. And it was also a randomly picked cemetery to see if I could actually test my theory about all cemeteries having some kind of spirit attached to it. Well, what I got was simply incredible. It was way beyond what I ever expected. With the leaves kicking up, the footsteps by the camera, the two EVPs, the two VVPs, especially that Class A VVP, I think I proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that there's something going on in that particular cemetery. And I think this is something I'm going to do every Halloween to draw pretty much a cemetery at random to see if I can just keep getting this compelling evidence of paranormal activity. Now, this cemetery, there was no reports of any paranormal activity coming from it, but when I got there, I certainly felt that something was going on because I was taking my pictures and moving around. I kind of felt like I was being watched, and I think the evidence that I picked up actually backs that up. So I hope you, act, you, hope you enjoyed this video and the compelling evidence that it provided.